Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today uh, it's day 22 of the Iceland wine advent calendar. Probably a good thing, I think a gin and a Prosecco one because it would have been mad, wouldn't it? But anyway, um, today it's Water's Edge Merlot. Uh, South African wine, 12.5%, so it's not the strongest of reds. Um, writing on these bottles is, is just hilarious at times unless they want you to do it in a certain light because in this light in here of these cheap you know these LED jobbies um, lower energy jobs you just can't see the um, the writing so we'll give it a pour see how it looks so December the 22nd obviously Christmas is now on its doorstep this glass is a bit manky if I'm being honest So, not be long before I go back to do more beer reviews rather than wine. Obviously, 20. I've done a lot of wine reviews in the la this last month. Uh, what with the home brew and uh, other wines. So, it'd be nice just to get back onto beers, lagers, and ciders for a bit. Or oh, a few spirits mixed in. So, yeah. Um, good aroma straight away of uh, black fruits, um, you know, blackberries, black cherries, uh, black currant. Yeah, really good aroma. Oh, lovely uh, dark fruity taste to it. Really nice, really pleasant as well. Not overly um, harsh. Yeah, just it's the spot nicely. Very quaffable. Reminds me of Blossom Hill um, Red, or their fruity red version. Not quite as fruity, but certainly very easy drinking wine. You know, or like the Echo Falls Red, that sort of thing. So, Waters. E. Edge. See, I've already reviewed the Pinotage Merlot. I've never actually seen the Pinotage Merlot uh, before. This is just the Merlot. Um, so they are available because uh, shops called the House of Town End, whatever that is. Um, the small bottle is available for it there, and it's at two pound twenty nine a bottle. So if you think twenty four bottles in in that kit it costs thirty eight quid to my for my daughter, two pound twenty eight nine a bottle. So two quid, that's forty eight quid. Uh, a third again. Um, 48, 50 odd quids worth of beer, uh, wine rather. So, let's have a look here. Water's Edge celebrated 10 years in 2014, an exciting milestone for one of our own brands. So it's a Lanchester brand. Um, Water's Edge is one of our biggest selling wines, popular with a variety of customers due to good quality of the wines and modern branding. Water's Edge is one of the first wines to be bottled here back in 2003 and has since grown steadily to become our most popular range. Yeah, you will find that, that just because a wine's from Australia, Chile, South Africa, whatever, that a hell of a lot of them are actually bottled in the UK. The wine shipped across and it's bottled it for obvious reasons, really, if you think about it. Because obviously, bottles smash, so you know, lost cargo. Uh, it's a lot easier to send over uh, wine in massive tankers that you bottle over here than it is to, you know, um, send over thousands and thousands of bottles. There's more of a damage um, factor, I presume. Uh, Rebranded in 2012 using the original painting by artist Layla Godden, hence that thing there on the front. Uh, the range has had a clean, modern look with varietals for all tastes. A further rebrand in 2015 has created the contemporary range aimed at, cust aimed at customers' taste and varietal preferences. So, yeah, for the Merlot, an easy drinking red, 
with lively cherry and blackberry flavours with hints of cocoa and violets. So, sounds nice, doesn't it? Um, on Vivino.com, see if it says so. 3.1 out of uh, 5. Um, says again, it's among the top 10% in that region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, deep red, medium body with cherry and plum on both the nose and palate. Plum with a hint of boot polish on the finish. Overall, a very pleasant, easy drinking wine. I will go with, it, with the easy drinking. That's it, really. Crap reviews after that. Around about £6 or so a bottle. So, standard price, you know, for a bottle, really, of red. Um, I'll go with my first... Uh, original thoughts that it's very similar to the likes of Echo Falls Red and Blossom Mill Red which are actually slightly cheaper wines more in the more in the 455 quid range or even Sage of His House Merlot um, in fact taste wise it's not far off uh, the Chilean Vina Mapo Merlot very similar taste to that. Very easily drinkable. Very nice to drink. You know, definitely one um, for the wine drinker who doesn't want anything too complex. Because some of the complex wines can be a handful to, you know, or a mouthful, as it were, to drink. Oh. That was really nice, really good. goes down the throat nice, fills your mouth with lovely fruit, dark fruit flavours, really nice. So, out of five, very decent, very, very decent. Some of the easy drinking ones are some of the best wines. It doesn't have to be, um, I find that some of these wines that are given massively high scores, you drink them, and like these, some of these high priced wines, I've had 28 pound bottles of wine drank it and I was very unimpressed and then you drink something for a four or five quid and you're like that's fantastic and I was I was recommended two of Aldi's um, range uh, the Coolie Borough and I've actually bought both of them for a review for, uh, for the very near future the Coolie Borough range and um, the Shiraz and the Shiraz Cabinet exceptional wines exceptional and you know, um, they're only four quid a bottle, so it's not all about the price you pay. There are some nasty brands out there. I think Three Mills is probably one of them. That's a bit, mm. but um, but obviously, all all winemakers bring out new versions and improve. You know, um, so yeah. So, out of five, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of five. I've really liked it. Really good taste. And I'm down to the last two bottles. It's been an experience. I want to do them again next year. Next year, I'll actually save some money aside and go and buy uh, free uh, advent calendars. That's my plan. Buy free advent calendars. Another wine one. Probably not from the same people because I don't want to clash with the same wines again. Uh, a beer one. And uh, maybe, or maybe two beer ones, and a prosecco or gin one, or beer prosecco gin, just for something interesting, something different, and see how it goes. That's if gin's still popular next year. You know, trends seem to change all the time. I've seen it over the years in beer; trends have changed, and uh, we are in the middle of a gin explosion at the moment, as we are with prosecco. Uh, but it, you know, trends do change. Thanks for watching. See you soon.